Up in Honey Club, we gone again. Yeah, yeah, well, that girl, them fat one. Bad when the tune, them drop one. Just drop one, bust our head back. One street vibes, bust up in the heart, top. Oh, God, party mud. Girl, them are sick as a party, but girl, is sweet like crab water bug. My name is Lucas Di Pasquale. I'm from Markham, Ontario, Canada. I am 20 years old and I am a recording artist for Universal Music Canada. I've been listening to dance hall um, since the early days of high school. You know, PopCon, the, the big ones. Vibes Cartel was always a really, really big one. And um, it kind of just snowballed from there. I've always been into rap music and, and hip, just hip hop in general. And those artists have always been collaborating. And I've heard, like, I li used to listen to Cardinal and I heard a lot of his dance hall stuff, but I heard a lot of the, you know, the anthem and all these different, different songs. So it's a really, really collaborative genre and it's also accessible in terms of um, if you. You don't realize that it's that accessible, and then you go out and you find it, and that's kind of what I did. I, I, I had people show me the music and try to get me involved, and then it was more just going on YouTube and going on the blog sites and looking for the looking for the artists. And then because I covered it, I got you know pushed into the kind of world I got, or you know pulled really because people were really really excited in what I was doing, and um, it was such a such an incredible experience to have. To be interested in the genre and to have a you know just a, a love for it already and then have people welcome you into it so it was very cool google um and friendship more just my friends just kind of sitting with me and saying no nah, bro that's like definitely not it and yes that you finally got it you don't sound silly um it was more that i wanted to sound i didn't really it was it wasn't really about um I need this to sound perfect because I want to be a, a yachty and I want to be this guy and I want to, you know, I want to be sick like like the guys in Jamaica doing it. But I just want to don't I, I want to I want to do it justice and I want to do it properly. And I so I kind of listened to a bunch of popcorn and read all the things and I got the spelling out and I you know I got the I listened to enunciations and I listened to to tracks that you can hear him better on just to be able to get the inflections and the kind of the little accent right and. So yeah, it, it it didn't it didn't take you know an incredible amount of effort, but it really just took time and, and practice and kind of just listening to it over and over again and just getting used to it. And then it kind of went to a next level when I got to Jamaica, and you know I still don't understand everybody when they're when they're saying things because there's just such like um, such a difference in between uh, two different people's patois on the island. But the idea that um, I was able to sit on my computer at home and kind of learn myself all the different the different uh, aspects of the of the dialect was really cool when I got to the island and saw it in practice the song idea and inspiration came from from stylo we, we were bouncing off of each other in the room we were right stylo G we were writing together um, with Mojam the production team and we kind of were just kind of make trying to make a a big banger. They, they they showed us the the beat and they said, "Hey, what do you think of this?" And we said, "Wow, that's really really cool." And I've been listening to dance hall um, a lot recently, but just kind of these things like Sean Paul and and um, and Popcon and all these different guys that I have been listening to and used to be listening to. You kind of want to make a fun song, fun song for people to to get down and shake their butt to. And uh, that idea that it's not really um, I'm not a club guy. I don't go to the clubs a lot. I don't. Um, I don't, I don't, you know, really find myself there a lot, but it's more that I wanted to make that kind of music, and that's the kind of music that that beat wanted and, and, and it had, you know, demanded. So um, me and Stylo kind of just tried to make something that people would groove to and definitely, you know, kind of just lose their self and dance for about three and a half minutes. So it, it, we definitely wanted to make something groovy. There's going to be a lot of different kind of stuff on that. I'm um, I, first and foremost, I play the acoustic guitar, um, and I want to bring that out. I've been doing that for so long. I've been just sitting in my room playing the acoustic guitar for years. So um, there's definitely going to be some guitar on there, and there's going to be 
there's going to be some hip hop influences. There's going to be some progressive influences. There's going to be some rock influences. It's going to be singer songwriter kind of things. Um, some songs are going to sound ballady. They're going to sound um, preachy. I, I'm trying to I'm trying to get some of my ideas across, but it's going to be a nice blend of, or I'm, you know, I'm attempting to make it a nice blend of all these different kinds of music that I enjoy and um, that I think that I can do well and do do justice for. So. It's going to be a very, all in all, it's going to be a reflection of me and, and my musical taste. Lucas Di Pasquale on Twitter. Di Pasquale is D I P A S Q U A L E. On Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Lucas Di Pasquale. On YouTube, The Light Work, or just type in Lucas Di Pasquale and I'll be there. I grade strong and I'm a car like a Samson. Hot grab a bun when me tansel. Lock off Blackberry and Samsung. Every other plan I get cancelled. Car. Thank you very much. Big up World of Reggae. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity, giving me this platform to talk. World of Reggae, I can't thank you enough. Thank you. Great strong in a me car like a Samson Hot grab a bun when me dance Lock off Blackberry and Samsung Every other plan I get cancelled